Python code execution. By B. R. Pawan Kumar. We all love coding in Python language. It is more important to us than our job, our friends, our family, and even our lives. Python is everything to all of us. It is the single reason we get up from our beds every day. Nothing is more important in our lives than Python programming language. But do you know how our most treasured and beloved language executes? Join me and we will find out together. So is Python a compiled or interpreted language? Compiled languages are pre-compiled, end-to-end, before execution. Example, C and C++. Interpreted languages are interpreted during runtime and are run line by line. Example, VB script. Well, the answer is a bit of both. Python code has the elements of both compiled and interpreted languages, similar to languages like Java and C Sharp. Python is first converted to a bytecode file, .pyc, by the interpreter and is then executed line by line via Python Virtual Machine, PVM. The Python Virtual Machine machine executes the components in the .pyc file, bytecode, line by line. Thus, Python is compiled from end to end like a compiled language, but is executed like interpreted language as the bytecode, .pyc file, line by line. Hence, we can say it has a mix of both. Execute the Python script we write for example, Python my script.py. Both interpretation and execution happen simultaneously, and because of this we fail to notice the creation of the bytecode. To specifically generate bytecode.pyc file without execution, we give the command Python Python hyphen M my script.py. This generates the pycache folder, which contains the .pyc file. What are the contents of .pyc? Byte code file. The bytecode file is a machine-readable, compiled bytecode that can be executed directly by the Python virtual machine, PVM, without the need to recompile the source code every time the script is run. Bytecode also removes any empty lines and comments to shrink the text and speed up the execution. Bytecode file makes Python machine and operating system independent. Unless, we are specifically using a feature of the operating system. Let us look at an example. Here's a classic hello world written in Python. Down below, we see the bytecode file it turns into. Translated into a human readable form. When is dot .pyc bytecode file created? There is a simple flowchart that helps us to understand when a bytecode file or .pyc file is created. Step 1. In Python checks if a .pyc file is already present. If yes, then it goes to second step, wherein it checks if the timestamp of the .py file is greater than .pyc file. Thus, it checks if there are any new modifications to .py file after .pyc file was created. Coming back to step 1, if there is no pre-existing .pyc file, then it goes to step number 3 and creates a .pyc file. Similarly, if step 2 finds out that the stamp of .py file is indeed greater than .pyc file, it goes to step number 3 wherein a new .pyc file is created. Finally, in case the timestamp of .py file is not greater than .pyc file, then it goes to step number 4 and the existing .pyc file is executed. So let us summarize! Step 1. The programmer writes the Python script .py file to be executed. Step 2. Python compiler compiles the code to the bytecode.pyc file. Step 3. 
Python virtual machine then executes the bytecode file to generate the required output. Types of Python Compilers Python being a very versatile language has many compilers suited for various needs. Out of the many available, the six most common compilers are as C Python. C Python is the default and the most widely used Python interpreter. This is written in C language. C Python compiles Python to the bytecode to be executed. Jthon. Jthon is the Python implementation for Java Virtual Machine. JVM. This allows Python code to seamlessly integrate with Java libraries, as this is written in Java. Iron Python. Iron Python is the implementation for .NET Framework. This enables Python to integrate with .NET programs and libraries. PyPy. PyPy is written in Python itself, and is just in time. JIT. Implementation for very fast compile times. As the code is dynamically compiled during runtime, it gives greater performance in code compilation. MicroPython. MicroPython is optimized for microcontrollers and embedded systems. This is specially optimized for resource constrained environments. Stackless Python. Stackless Python is an enhanced version of Python, which supports tasks such as base concurrence and allows lightweight cooperative multitasking. So as a summary, here is a list of six most common Python compilers. Congratulations! Now you know how Python executes.